Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your health and your body, and how to use this knowledge to transform your health and truly flourish. As an OBGYN physician, I was trained to remove the ovaries of women as young as 35, especially if she were having pelvic surgery for another reason, and always that way, and even when her ovaries were completely normal. And when I started to question this practice and urge women to keep their ovaries, I didn't have much support. And even today, two-thirds of the gynecologists surveyed in the U.S. still remove healthy ovaries at the time of hysterectomy in women ages 51 to 65. This is based on the belief that removing the ovaries will prevent ovarian cancer. But here's the truth. Ovaries are important for your hormone balance. And contrary to outmoded science, they do not stop functioning after menopause, which is what I was taught in medical school and residency. Healthy ovaries continue to make small amounts of hormones for our entire lives, especially testosterone. Women who elect to remove their healthy ovaries have a higher risk for fatal coronary artery disease, heart attack, cognitive impairment, and Parkinson's disease. And these risks far outweigh the reduced risk for fatal ovarian cancer that is associated with elective ovarian removal. If you do have your ovaries removed, the long-term use of estrogen or phytoestrogens can help mitigate the risks of ovarian removal. Bottom line, you're better off keeping your ovaries whenever possible. So before you have your ovaries removed, talk with your doctor. Yes, there are times when removal of your ovaries is wise, but most of the time it's far better to keep what God gave you. My last tip is also a wisdom tweet. Don't let fear of future cancer jeopardize your long-term health. So now it's your turn. Have you ever been faced with the decision to keep or remove your healthy ovaries? If so, what advice can you offer on why it's best to keep your ovaries whenever possible? What was your experience? Please leave a comment and describe your experience with this important issue. And if you like this video, please share it. And if you're not already a subscriber, please sign up for my e-news. It's full of health wisdom that I share only in the e-news. For more inspirational tips, visit my blog, and explore drnorthrop.com, where you will find wisdom for your body, mind, and spirit. Visit daily to discover the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, physical health, and life circumstances. And remember, you are in the driver's seat of your health, and you can make profound and healthy changes. Thank you.